Hello everyone, this is Name 17 Spore. Uh, stream quality looks good on my end, thankfully. Um, yes, and I am back today. It's been a little while since I played this. With more Rule the Waves 2. Um, let me just briefly make sure that everything is on the right screen. Yep, 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 yep. Everything's on the right screen. I am not concerned at all, so I can, uh, actually actually do this again so yeah still several versions behind I need to get this series done soon so that I can actually update this darn game uh, so right now I'm still having the problem where I cannot invade Formosa for some stupid reason um, I don't know why I can't invade Formosa I should be able to invade Formosa. Um, Hong Kong is just barely out of my reach. But, you know, we got the entire Caribbean. And, yeah, this is the... Oh, hold on. Where's the... There's the box. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. The box was gone for some reason. I think I toggled it off for, uh, for one of the streams I did. But yeah, we are doing this. We have the, uh, right now the CA is under construction. For whatever reason, we have the uh, old heavy cruiser Delaware in Southeast Asia. I swear you were converted into a museum. Or maybe it was kept on, uh, it might have been kept on Coastal Patrol this whole time. But it's not on trade. Yeah, you were converted into a museum, weren't you? Oh, uh, well, move to the North American West Coast, then. There's no reason to have that out there. It's terrible. It should not be in combat. But yeah, in Southeast Asia, we have the remaining out, the remaining three Alabamas, um, as well as the remaining Nebraska, and uh, the newer cruiser New Jersey, which New Jersey's kind of, kind of big. We also got the Colorados, too, which are kind of also very, very big. Um, yeah, this this is why I can't play this anymore in new versions, because new versions have guns limited so much. Like, I think in the new versions, I don't even know if I can build an Idaho. I don't know if I can actually build an Idaho in Alabama. Um, or a uh, Florida. I might still be able to get something like in Indiana but you know even that I'm kind of uncertain of all right so we are gonna get some minesweepers done here um, we have uh, right now multiple CVs building uh, how are our submarine counts building more subs because I have a little bit of extra money although I do notice I have uh, some ships in repair so I have some older Tallahassee class cruisers which are on foreign station I think Huntington and later is in the active fleet up to, yeah up to the Galvestons which are actually you know modern um, let me check what research I have all right fire control advanced director do we have advanced directors and stuff uh, yes yes we do so we don't have to update that um, if I check out Light Forces and Torpedo Warfare, um, I don't know if I can get triple guns on CLS yet. It kind of looks like I can't. Um, but it might be time to get a new uh, light cruiser class. Although we have a lot of light cruisers. Uh, when we look at, you know, what the fleets of the world have, you know, we've got the biggest budget. You know, obviously no battleships, no battle cruisers right now. Our CAs are basically our battle cruisers, and we only have 18 of them. That's a little bad. We need more of those, I think. Yeah, we got a lot of light cruisers, a lot of destroyers, a lot of those. Not too many subs, but then again, neither does anyone else. CVs, two CVs in service, two building, one... CVL or seven CVLs, yeah. 
there is the thought of going with a CV heavy fleet to um, rallies in the yard four corvettes are commissioned like we need 17 inch guns I do not want them created automatically all right new version of a bomber yeah sure we'll take that a large we were on prize rolls you asshole Ugh. small engagement interesting location who the hell knows do we want to attack I, I say suppress enemy airfields whatever is going on Let me move around a bit do we have any airfields here I don't think we do actually all right so we have the CA Rhode Island yeah catapult launch float planes there's a spotted ship. What is it? We're reporting it as a destroyer at the moment. It's the only thing spotted. We're scoring hits on it. Whatever it is. Oh, it's a Corvette. Why did Britain try that? I don't know. Let's just send a 900 ton Corvette at, you know, a um, 29,600 ton armored cruiser with a broadside of 13 10 inch guns. That's probably my worst armored cruiser. One of my worst armored cruisers at this point anyway. Yeah. Thank you for the free victory points. Um, where is their fleet currently? Currently sitting there. We can't invade anything. Um, Research-wise, that's up to high. Honestly, there's like some thought of me just reducing everything else to low. We need to get more amphibious operations going here. Is what we need. So ships in service. Uh, all these guys need to go on trade protection. We do have some extra funds. I might... Well, you know what? First things first. Let's build larger docks. Second thing second. Let's, uh, let's build a new CA. So, this is using the narrow belt trick. It's not completely perfect. We can go up to 61,000 tons, so let's start by doing that, um, and just see how this winds up working, I suppose. If we do gun data, yeah, but you know, this is the uniform narrow belt trick. Can we get better torpedo defense? No, we can't. I'll still keep it at 30 knots so it's uh, consistent with our current designs. Maybe I'll put the tertiaries in uh, twin groups. It's the thought of getting more planes, like a pack of four rather than a pack of two, but I'll probably stay with the Pack of two. There's a thought of getting more armor. Let's see how many more guns we can jam on board this thing, though. Yeah, okay. We can do that. For guns. Um, and that does give us a little bit more armor. So, maybe belt armor up. No, can't quite do that. Maybe main belt armor up. So we'll not have a perfect narrow belt. Um, I could do... Just 
just splinter protection on the secondaries, but, you know, still be able to spam out a large number of secondaries. And then this still gives us a little bit of remaining mass. Or maybe, yeah, you know what, yeah, we'll go with just splinter protection for the secondaries and go up to 22 of these guns. No, wait, no, I don't want to save it as Brooklyn. Just a name. I don't think we've used Arizona yet. Yeah. So that will use some of the remaining funding we have to design that new ship class. Uh, we lost some new CLs. Evil Charger is in a mine. Another small engagement here. I don't... Okay, they give us some free VP. Okay, come on, Britain. You want to do anything? Michigan is in the yard with engine problems. Great. Um, I have to take this option. Don't really have a choice in the matter because of the rules I have set up. Alright, next turn. Okay, what? Okay, so what do these options say? It's not telling me. Ah, uh, let's do this. There you go. Large territories and considerable reparations. We get four. Hmm. So we could take... Let's see, we take Burma. If we wanted to. We could just take the points, or we could take regions. Can't get Hong Kong, can't get Formosa. Um, Falkland Islands could be interesting. I'm thinking maybe Falkland Islands and Fiji. Because we can't get all of this stuff here. Um, there's also a lot of, like... I, I don't think we want to get, like, Yemen. Actually, do we? Hmm. Have to see. Or Yemen or Burma. Where are they? Because I know where Kalon is. Kalon's just off of India. Uh, so that's in the Indian Ocean region, rather than the Southeast Pacific. But Malaya is... Not Southeast Pacific, but what the hell, no. Um, Malaya is in the that Southeast Asia region. I know that. Oh, Yemen's probably in the... Yeah, but Burma! Isn't Burma... Oh, no, Burma It would be in the Indian Ocean region. All right, let's take these two places then. All right, so one requirement is that when we are not in war, um, the cruiser Arizona will have to be building. I want to get another one of these cruisers done. And we do have the two carriers being worked on. So, air groups. Take. Uh, don't have any in reserve. So, I'm going to grab everything from these two. No, right now. Move. No. Active. Active. Move all to reserve. Move all to reserve. I should wait. No. Move there. Move. Move to Langley. Take all these guys. Move all to reserve, 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 move all to reserve. Move all to reserve. 
or move all so I'll scrap all these except for Naval Air Station Seattle which will be uh, left and honestly this is way too many planes we don't need this many planes yeah, we've all uh, in reserve So if I just do this, I can disband them all. And that will save me, yeah, that's about 5000 a month. Um, move all to reserve, move all to reserve, and then move all to reserve. So we still have some air units remaining. Yeah, naval aircraft's really gone down now. Um, doctrine. Stop training. Scrap Montana again, because apparently she was a museum ship um, and accidentally got activated somehow. Really, just don't need Montana in service. Yeah, see, look at look at the monthly balance now. It's so low. Um, all right, so we have everything on the North American East Coast. All of all of you guys here should be mothballed. First of all, cruiser-wise, what are we looking at for the CLs? Um, oh, which one did we lose? Because we lost one. It was uh, a Reno. Okay, not not too terrible. Um, so those guys are on foreign service. Those guys are currently on the west coast where they will remain for the moment. They will be mothballed. Those are North American East Coast. Those are Caribbean. So Southeast Asia, um, Des Moines will be moved to the North American West Coast. Um, everything in Southeast Asia will now be moved to the North American West Coast. Yeah, move ship to the North American... And other than that, so the old... These guys should all be mothballed. Um, Southeast Asia, Southeast Asia. Move to the North American West Coast. Given that we will be building more destroyers, I'm thinking that these this set of Calhouns will move to the uh, North American West Coast as well. So that we have another set of modern destroyers there. Um, I don't know who our next enemy should be, since we, for whatever reason, clearly cannot take br uh, many British colonies. Although, honestly, getting, uh, that's nice. And getting, you know, the Falkland Islands on the South American East Coast is nice. That kind of gives us a lot of control. It would be nice to get, like, British Columbia, if at all possible, but, you know, it would be very difficult. So, yeah, that's Burma right there. Um... But, you know, right now we want these regions. Now, that being said, Russia is a possible target. But they're my ally, so no. Um, other than that, who's in invasion range? Nobody is. Nobody's in invasion range. Other than Russia, who's my friend. And Britain, who apparently isn't. So, um... No spying for the moment, then? Maybe? Because I can't seem to get more territories out of anything else. Um, Alright, so all of you guys will be mothballed. You guys are probably all going to be jammed into the reserve fleet. And then you guys jammed into the reserve fleet, too. Uh, of the cruisers I have left, so yeah, all of these guys, these guys are kind of older, so they'll all be mothballed. How good's in Moine? Not super great. We can put those into reserve and then keep those guys on active duty. Um, 
So we'll have a Langley on the east coast and one on the west coast, it looks like. Um, we'll probably just... Do this to these remaining guys. Yeah, you should move to the North American West Coast when you can, but I don't think yeah, it's not gonna let you because you're repairing. Yeah, we'll keep the Galvest uh, the Galvestons active, and in terms of the armored cruisers, um, I think the Kentuckys will be mothballed. They'll be kept in service for now. We'll mothball the Michigans and. Very least the Indianas. How many armor cruisers do I have at the moment? Seventeen. So that should mean that the first eight should be mothballed. Ah, uh, we'll go to the first nine then. So the Floridas will be mothballed. Um, Alabama's onwards will be probably in the reserve fleet or the active fleet. The yeah, Idaho's will probably be in the reserve fleet here. And that means. I have now saved up enough money that we can get a second Arizona building. Why don't we get a second Arizona building? That would uh, probably be good. Uh, so if I did want to get a second Arizona building, what would I name it? Uh, show older designs. We need to go down to the Illinois class. It's just a new name. Actually, you know what? We just scrapped Montana. So the new Arizona will be named Montana. There we go. So we've got ships kind of moving all around the place at the moment. Colorado's, for the moment, will be kept on active, I think. Hold on. Air groups. Still anything on Henderson? Yeah, okay. Um... Disband those guys, because that'll save me more money. And disband these guys, because that'll save me more money. Yeah, look at that. We're already in the positive, and I don't even have all my stuff on uh, reduced, uh, reduced service. And this is why I'm able to afford good stuff. So we're getting more Calhoun-class destroyers completed. Um, might be a good idea to get more uh, light cruisers here after we did lose a couple. But I, honestly, I think that the focus needs to be on the CAs and CVs right now. Um, can I get... I can do this, right? Yeah, okay, that's doable. Um... Can I do director fire on the secondaries? Can we get 5 inch? No, we can't get 5 inch dual purpose yet. Alright. Let's get more anti aircraft. we get inclined belt? Yes, we can. Maybe increase the deck a little bit. Increase the turret top. Can we go up to 10,000 tons? Yeah, we can. Turret should maybe go up to like 4. Turret top's at 2, I'm going to bring up the deck to 2, I'm going to see if I can get the belt to 3. It looks like I can. Maybe we can do that. Just jam it full of mines. Um, probably not. Probably not going to bother with mines. So we will have all or nothing on this guy. Yeah, we'll do magazine box protection. Or maybe we turn magazine box protection off. No, 
gotta leave it on. Get another now. Hmm. Was it on a one and a half deck? Maybe two and a half belt. Maybe three and a half. Nah. Okay, so gun data. So yeah, it basically does bring up our belt thickness a little bit. So we do have some immunity range against our own guns, but not too much. And yeah, we're able to get a fair few number of guns per side. So I might build two f two of these guys. Ah, uh, no, I don't want them created automatically. No, I don't. Wait, what state is... Oh, right, Japan is a target. And now that we are no, no longer friends with Russia, they are a target. So we will increase spying on those two nations then. Now, we can mothball him. We can reserve all of them. And look at how much more money this is getting us. Reserve the Des Moines. Um, we'll reserve two of the Gal. We'll reserve yeah two of the Galvestons, but we'll reserve one on each coast. Um, yeah, Langley. Uh, Langley will be removed to the reserve fleet. I, I actually I think I will move both them to the reserve fleet because we're gonna get new uh, new ones here. And then, yeah, these guys also need to be moved to the reserve fleet. So do these guys. Yeah, okay. That is the fleet so far. Now, there is some stuff which needs rebuilds. So first of all, all the Tallahassees are old. Can't do much about that. Um, none of our CAs need rebuilds. The oldest rebuild version is 1927. Um, so I'm not concerned about that. Uh, Cruiser-wise, Huntingdon's do need a refit, but that's it. They will need to get in a uh, better director. There's a thought about upgrading the uh, main guns, but that might be a little too expensive. Um, gun upgrades typically are, and the game kind of does lie to you about how expensive they actually are. Um, now, I guess D, no, H and I, what I would want, I'm going to reduce that by two. And that is the maximum amount of mass on these ships I can use. There's also the thought of um, having an aircraft, or removing one of the turrets and adding an aircraft catapult. Which I don't think I'm going to do. Although I did it on all these guys. But on Londington, I think it's more difficult to do. So I'll just do this. I don't know, I am considering doing it. I did it on the Cincinnati's, and I think those are like Huntingdon's, but a little faster. So that might be something where... I'm probably not going to remove the C turret, it would probably be the W turret. Then followed by a catapult in the W position. So where the turret used to be, and aircraft capacity would be 1. Alright, I can do that. And then...
do that, yeah. Okay, that that works. That's a decent conversion for the Huntington. So that does give my CLs good um, aircraft carrying capacity. Fascist coup has taken place in Germany. Oh no. Oh no, Germany. Alright, so now we have uh, two flints being built. Um, just, just don't, j just don't drink the water, and you'll be fine. Don't drink the water on that cruiser. Oh, hey, our submarine done. Uh, Sauls. Thank you, Japan. Do we have any requests? No, we don't. Hello there, dive bomber. First priority, bomb load. Second priority, bomb load. Thank you, Japan. We are going to get dive bombers now. Hooray! Uh, the, I was hoping that the war with Britain would just keep going on. Now, one issue is I kind of screwed up with this design. I'm just imagining that the catapult's higher than the SAF superstructure, and this turret would still be back there. shouldn't have moved, so... Ah, well. Good enough. But yeah, the flints are actually going to be really good. Light cruisers. If I look at the top of the world light cruisers right now... Wait, what? Germany? What is this? What have you been building, Germany? Explain yourself! Okay, that's actually worse. Still pretty bad. It looks... How? How is this a 1927 design? It is 30 knots. I'll give him that. They do have a couple CBLs. A couple, uh... AVs. Some, um... Heavy CAs. Some, like, uh, Deichelin CAs. And then, yeah, some good battle cruisers, I would say. At least some decent ones. Uh, Britain, in terms of their battle cruisers, yeah, they have some pretty heavy ones here. Yeah. Very scary ones. They do have a CV, but it can only carry, according to this report, 27 aircraft. Um, best French cruisers are 6,000 tons. British best light cruisers. British didn't have a lot of light cruisers. Maybe we sank a bunch, I don't know. Um,. They got one really good one, nine six inch guns. That is very strong. That's a small hull to put that on. Cause we were doing eight on uh, eight thousand tons, going the same speed with the same belt armor. So I'm wondering because we had torpedo protection. They probably didn't put torpedo protection on theirs. So, my light cruisers can withstand a torpedo. It Well, I don't think theirs really can. Um, Russia does have some CAs in service. Not like they matter. Um, yeah, okay, Russia has uh, shit CLs in service, too. Um, they've got a significant amount of AVs. Small ones. So, Japan. They have some CVLs. They're best... Okay... That's better than most other nations' best light cruiser at this time. Actually having the all-centerline turret thing. You know, that's decent. With the Chioda. Then the other ones are particularly great. in Italy. Okay, yeah, that was to be expected. Um, it seems like people have not yet caught on to the trend of let's put our light cruiser guns on the center line. You know... Like me. They're sitting there building their, you know, World War One era designs. Their descended designs. And I'm sitting here building, you know, Cleveland's in 1933. Yeah. I, I don't think that they're... 
what they're doing is that good of an idea. And my CAs are also really, really heavy. Hey, we commissioned three more subs. Dayton is finished with reconstruction. Yeah, okay, those guys are back in service now. Alright, so now that those guys are back in service, um, those guys are here. They should really be mothballed, though. Uh, other older refit designs. So, the Chargers. Oh, one of them's still in Southeast Asia. You should move to the North American West Coast. And then we'll wait for that one to get there before doing that rebuild. However, we have a number of old destroyers. So, the Rowans. You do need a rebuild. Um, probably to improve Director. You know what, let's just do a significant rebuild on these guys. So, increase depth charge storage and K-guns up. They're not going to have these wing turrets anymore. Still want... You know what? We could go down to the 4-inch guns. And do doubles. Although, I don't know. That doesn't seem to work really well. So maybe we do... Singles. And then add a single superimposed, maybe? But, you know, right now we don't even have any anti-aircraft guns. Maybe only two. Two of those. And now increase depth... Well, you know what? We can do increase depth charge storage. We might have to go down to uh, triple tubes here. Hmm. So if we get rid of that and go back up to five-inch guns, or, yeah, no, we just do... Just do that and have him be dual purpose. So we can actually uh, turn those into anti aircraft guns. I think that this is probably the best um, version of this I can get. If we remove the increased depth charge storage and keep these as front line destroyers, um, or remove the K guns, you know, we could. We can continue with seven torpedo tubes, but I think I'm going to stick with six. We're not going to replace the machinery, because replacing machinery is too expensive. That is a little bit expensive. Um, honestly, though, deck-mounted, or refitting deck-mounted guns isn't that bad. All right, Stockton class, which is probably going to undergo a very similar transformation here. So it'll also get a B super firing. Um, we do want that on board. Alright, so we'll get an AA director. You'll have a mount removed. But you can have a f set of eight torpedoes rather than six. Yeah, okay, so the Gregory's are act do actually have a bit better of a uh layout so we'll get an improved director on them um we do want to get this upgraded though so that might mean get rid of that maybe no increased depth charge storage can't increase that torpedo mount unfortunately so you will be stuck with 5 inch or you will stay with the 5 inch guns I think I was just thought of going down to the 4 inch guns and having X superimposed 2 
having them all be dual purpose. Going with the increased depth charge storage and that in that won't work. But we can get more torpedoes. No. Alright, Gregory's. I probably do want to keep the amount of torpedo tubes the same, so we'll just do the improved director. Um They need anti aircraft guns. Let's be honest, they need anti aircraft guns. Um So I'll probably get rid of W. So that does effectively remove a torpedo tube for more anti aircraft guns. Probably won't that's all we can get, really. Oh dear god, that is a lot of money. Alright. Two new dis eight subs commissioned, two destroyers commissioned. Um and we're gonna get some done this turn. Seven destroyers are finished. Uh British government. I need more money. Alright, so it still leaves the Hardings and the Stevens. So the Hardings. Improved director. Get rid of your W. We're going to go up to an 8 torpedo tube design here. You could get more K, or we could get a couple K guns. Or maybe. Because we could do that, but. I don't think we can improve any of the uh, anti-submarine armament of these if we keep them as a torpedo, as a well-armed torpedo destroyer. Alright, so what state are the Stevens in? Actually, the Mugfords are probably going to need a refit soon, so we should probably give them one, too. So, these need an improved director, first of all. Need an AA director. Nope. Maybe I'll just do... I'll get rid of a couple torpedo tubes. Screw it. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Step four, medium anti-aircraft guns. Actually, you know what? That does affect rate of fire, so we'll just have you be an eight tube destroyer. And then we'll add K guns to you. All right, there we go. So that'll be the refit, Stevens. All right, so this will... Okay, so we still got the chargers to refit, but they'll be refit probably after the current destroyers are. Let's mothball the Gregories, since they got the least extensive rebuild. And then I think the Mugfords and Cranes are also going to receive one. So these guys need an improved director. Um, good to get more. Uh, you know what? No. No more K-Guns. Honestly, though, yeah, an improved director might just be enough for the point of these things. Send them in. And then get the cranes. Because the oldest one of these is 1926. And get me an improved director on them.
too. And their anti aircraft's filled out. They don't have an AA director. AA directors do weigh a lot, though, so. Maybe I shouldn't have put AA directors on some of the other ones. Actually, let's get another set of subs built. Maybe just two of each type. So that we just kind of do keep our sub fleet, sub fleet growing a bit. Um, it would be good to get larger docks still. We're going to build 70,000 ton arm. Let, let's build Yamato-sized armored cruisers. Let's do that. Um, we'll eventually hit an, a uh, armor limit on these things. On the other hand, you know, maybe I should be trying to get the deck to be more uniform, but you know, our armor scheme's gonna improve over time. Um, so yeah, we did get more destroyers done here. Those guys. Mothball them. Mothball the remaining Gregories. Oh yeah, and then every, the Calhouns are our most recent class, and they don't need a rebuild. But, you know, the oldest crane did, so might as well send them all in. Increases endurance, cool. There are the remaining ruins, which are down here. And then, off the remaining Gregory. And then all these guys looks like you're going to finish in one turn. Actually, you know what? Wasp is going to be done here, too. Um, so, two new carriers, and I should probably be working on another two carriers. And honestly, I'm probably just going to... I don't think there's too much I can improve here. Looking at it. So maybe it is something where I just lay down another Lexington. If I open the Lexington for a... I'll have to check next turn. I won't build one this turn, I'll build one next turn. It is found that the ship is somewhat overweight! Let's build a new class then! New dive bomber prototypes are ready for evaluation. Okay, uh, 800 pound bomb, that's good. Okay, so max speed favors the XDB-9. Definitely, the Douglas. Um, so that one has speed. That one has range. Uh, it does not have maneuverability. It does not have toughness. Um, but it has speed and range. So I think that that one will be the pick. Aircraft types. Uh, so our oldest right now are flying boats. So let's get a new flying boat. And we probably want range and reliability. Well, you know what? I'm going to do reliability, then range. For them. Alright, so. With the Lexington, let's lay down a new class of carrier. Um, just new name. Yeah, Saratoga class, it's fine. We can only do the uh, 48 aircraft doesn't really matter. Um, I don't think hangar side armor is going to matter too much. So let's let's try and see what we can do with like a flight deck armor 5 carrier. I don't know. Let's try 4. Nope, that's a little too much. Alright, so this is the maximum amount of mass I have to work with. So I think I will do that. That doesn't leave me a lot of extra m excess mass laying around. But you know, hopefully I won't really need it. Because we're only going to have like one more fire control upgrade. Um, 
I guess there's a potential gun upgrade to 5-inch guns, but, you know, maybe I could just leave them as 4-inch guns and leave the carrier armored so that we only have to do the 10% change. Uh, the destroyers are now all done rebuilding, uh, so mothball these guys, and then reserve the... Actually, you know what? Um, honestly, reserve the Gregory's downward. Gregory's through to the cranes. And leave the older ones there. Alright, so now our two remaining old ships are these carriers. Which should, first of all, get a better director. Um... We could go up and have it have it be a CV, but I don't know. I might just leave the extra mass around. So did I? So that's line one. That's line two. That's line three. That's line four. That's line five. That's line six. Okay, so I did just kind of leave it like this. Um, that's fine. We'll go up to an advanced director. Uh, we'll switch the four-inch guns to dual-purpose mounts. Maybe doubles. Double dual purpose mounts, rather. Uh, yeah, get those in. And then... Switch over to a much heavier anti-aircraft battery. Like that. Wait, no. Well, yeah, we'll go 29 and 9. And then have the multiple 4-inch guns. So that will allow the Charger class carriers to um, actually be able to resist a little bit better. That being said, the Plainfields and uh, Nassau probably also do need a rebuild. Um, so one thought with these guys is doubles rather than singles. Um, have a nice anti-aircraft gun mix. And upgrade to an advanced director. I might just do one inch on the turrets, though, just so we have a little bit more of extra mass remaining. Um, also, I'm trying to get more planes on them, because the plane fields are kind of low on aircraft, so maybe I'll just reduce these down to singles again, so that I don't have to swap them out, and then can't really get much more planes on them though. So yeah, I think I made the right choice. Do this. I'll just bring the turrets down to one inch. Yeah, okay. I think that is, uh, that's good. So yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's build this design. I think this will be a, uh, uh, should have catapults. Can we add catapults to it yet? We add, like, these guys. Is that valid? Nope, we can't. So, having a little bit of extra mass is still good. It is possible that maybe what I'll just do is take the turret armor off when the time comes. I don't know if orange turrets can really flash fire or not. For now, we'll leave a little bit of turret armor on. I'm gonna rebuild them and send in uh, Nassau as well. Yeah, okay, so there's still a lot of extra weight remaining here. So if we... We could get the air capacity up to like 36, at which point it is a CV rather than a CVL. Um, but I think more of that's gonna be better spent on just upgrading the anti-aircraft capabilities of the ship. Which 
which will be done by doing this all. Uh, let's try this. Yeah, okay, 8 and 25. So we have a little bit of a li little mix of anti-aircraft positions used. That's always good. Uh, I'm sure it's over gun. Too many main guns. Screw it. We got a lot of a uh, lot of four-inch guns to just throw flak up at the sky. The new Saratoga design will be done shortly, and we will order two of them. Those are good guns. Thank you, Germany. All right, so Saratoga will be Saratoga, and Hornet will be these two carriers. Um, Saratoga class will be. So that will bring our CVL or the, our CVs up to sixteen, and our we'll still have our five CVL fleet. Unfortunately, it's not the six CVL fleet I started out with, but you know, what can you do? Um, yeah. Um, so right now, I think Langley and Yorktown are going to be mothballed, and Lexington will be moved to the reserve fleet. We will be kept on low readiness for the moment. Um, now, have we researched any new invasion technologies? No, we have not. We need to. We really need to research more invasion technologies. Um, I'm not seeing any prestige hit. I don't think I need the training, I need the budget. Night surface torpedo attacks, okay. That's good. Our CVL fleet will be done soon. Yeah, she has no air group assigned. This is the only option I can take. Because of my rules. Improve 13 inch guns like, like they matter. Um, like, I can actually use 13-inch guns. Uh, no, I don't want units created automatically. No, I don't want units created automatically. I think I just forgot to hit save there. That's concerning. One turn without saving. Um, ooh, I want to go to war with Russia, but that is a lot of money. Thank you, Russia. Thank you for your money. Deck edge lifts and improves reading times aircraft. Okay. Um, how did we invent those this early? Uh, I don't know, don't question it. Um, alright, so, plane fields and probably one of the chargers be mothballed. The rest of you guys go into the reserve fleet, and that gives me more money. And what can I do with this money? Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm going to save it up. For six months. Once our dock size is better, I'm going to order a uh, new heavy cruiser design done. Alright, so. Which ones can I not take? I can take either of these top two. These top two are both options. Budget and tension plus. Budget and... Well, budget and tension plus plus. Or budget plus tension plus plus. Or... Budget plus tension plus. I cannot take the prestige minus option, but both of these are options. So I will take the one which uh, doesn't quite raise tensions as much. Hey, increase them with Russia. That's what I wanted. Um, we got. Oh, yeah, we did get more money from that. More funds. Um, uh, yes! Thank you, France. Unexpected advances in fire control. So I will continue saving up the money. All right. Let's reduce naval spending. Okay. I can take any of these options. So I'll try to get the proposal watered down. Flying boat prototypes are ready. Thank goodness. Um, bomb load's better. That's good. Uh, if I wanted to side with bomb load, I would side with either the North American or the Douglas design. Um, however, that's not the only category. Uh, speed is also a category. 
Um, and if I want to side with speed, actually, yeah, bomb load, I want to side with booster or the Grumman design. I would not want to side with the North American or Douglas design. For speed, I would want to side with the Brewster design or the North American design. Um, range, I would want to side with the Brewster design. Uh, firepower, I would not want to go with the Douglas. For range, actually, no, wait, no, range, I would want the X, I would want the Grumman. Ooh. Honestly, I might go with the Grumman. I'm thinking the Grumman. Uh. Oh, ooh, Grumman or Brewster. The Grumman design or the Brewster design. I think these are the two best designs of the group I have. Now, the advantage to the North American design is the toughness. But its range is low. Um, the Douglas design, I think, has enough disadvantages to rule it out. I wish I could just select multiple, like say, yeah, Brewster, Grumman, and honestly, the North American one, all build your designs. I want to see how they turn out. Um, I, I think Douglas has obviously failed this requirement set. Um, yeah, the Grumman looks good, the Brewster looks good. Hmm. Hmm. The Grumman can go further. But I'm not sure how much going further at this point is worth it when you're starting to talk about the 600s. Um, it might be better to get there a little faster and detect them earlier, which is what the Brewster would be better at. Brewster's also a little tougher and still has good rate. I'm going Brewster. I'm going Brewster. There, dive bomber. The Douglas Dominator is ready for service. Hopefully it's... Well, it's a dive bomber, not a torpedo bomber. So it's not going to be as cursed as the... Um, uh, the Dominator was in real life. Alright, so we're going to have to develop a fighter to replace the Martin Electra. The problem with the Martin Electra is that thing has been so upgraded that it is probably um, kind of absolutely broken. Um, Alright, so at this point in time... There's a thought of going for firepower, but it might just it might just be slightly too early for that. But I'll go with it anyway. Um, honestly, though, maybe we go with reliability as the main concern. Um, so that we get more of them. No, I'm thinking firepower, reliability, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so we lost the money we got from the budget increase, it looks like. Wow, Falkland Islands has rebelled. Um, let's get ships into that region. Are we at war with Argentina? Alright, so who is in the Caribbean? Um, we have Des Moines class cruisers, along with uh, Reno class cruisers. Activate Chicago and San Francisco immediately. Who else is in the Caribbean? Activate Idaho and Massachusetts immediately. Idaho, Massachusetts, uh, Chicago, San Francisco. Uh, what destroyers do we have in the Caribbean? What good destroyers do we have in the Caribbean? Those are Stevens. Uh, we'll activate three of the Stevens and two. Alright, so you guys... We do have carriers in the Caribbean, but I'm not going to send carriers down. You guys... And... You guys... Move ships... Into... Uh, the South American East Coast to uh, suppress that. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, we got, we stole blueprints for the Russian battleship, or Tvizen. 12 16 inch guns. We're gonna have to fight this with armored cruisers and carriers. Um, improved director though, so they are behind us in terms of directors, which isn't surprising. So we would have a fire control advantage, and hopefully. A whole shitload of 10-inch guns blasting into their hull would not be, uh, not be nice for their ship. All right. Let's design a new CA. Uh, reloads for... Yes. Thank you, Britain. 
Um, all right. Let's see what gives me prestige. All right, so, press a feat indeed. We shall confer a medal on the intrepid leader. I cannot take that option. Uh, machines could easily do the same. We should strengthen our air defenses. Okay. I cannot take the top. I cannot compliment them on it. That's I cannot do. I can get more budget, or I can choose. I can get more budget for tension, or I can choose not to. Now I'm not too concerned about Germany, so I might get more budget for tension. Um. Yeah, I'll do that. And now. Now our dock size has increased, so I am going to order our dock size built up again. Um, in 12 months, but I'm going to open up the, this design. Belt extended will go up to 7, and we are going to go up to our maximum tonnage again. I do want to get the secondary guns full, fully activate, oh, to, to their full potential. Um... Torpedo-wise, we will get the torpedoes up to their full potential. So now we have all the torpedoes we need. Um, this, this ship design is so absurd at this point. Okay, so we can't go to that type of deck. So we can go up to a 5-inch deck, I think, though. Um, there's also the thought of going back down to a 6.5 belt and then increasing the deck. If we look at our gun data... It's still our immunity zone there, but I've, I'm hearing that the deck is actually, or the deck actually helps surprisingly well. I might get the turrets up to 16 inches, ah, uh, 15.5, and turret top up, turret top should maybe be 6 inches. Um, yeah, okay. So in terms of the extra armor, that's what we can get, but... More anti-aircraft guns! Hooray! Yeah, um, air capacity will still be two. Oh, there's some thought about going up to four. Nope, stay at two. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we need a name. What will we name it? The Minnesota class. Alright, so that will be the... New Battlecruiser Minnesota, um, I don't want to fight you, France, yet. Not yet. So I will accept your money, so that I can hopefully build a new Minnesota class. We've commissioned two subs, awesome. Um, excellent. So, um, for the moment, I'll put that name in. Um... Rebellion in the Falkland Islands continues. Alright. So they just started building a new... Arizona class. Hello, you're gonna, you're gonna now be the Armored Cruiser Connecticut. Um, and yeah, I'll take it. Why not? It's 10% off. Um... And we have so much spare money that I can probably still afford a Minnesota. Ooh, new area. Um, I have to. I have to take that. Go to build screen. Build me a Minnesota. There we go. I will say I am really hoping that having, you know, two, two very large armored cruisers. Didn't I send the destroyers down there? Where the hell did they go? Oh my god, you guys didn't move. I swear I selected you to move. Alright, South American East Coast. Move down there. Um, okay then, research-wise. So we did get amphibious tractors, which is good. Um, so we'll leave that on high for the moment. Um, that needs to go on high now. I think machinery development I can bring down to medium. Fire control I still want it high. Subdivision damage control I still want it high. AP projectiles I still am going to need at high. Um, 
explosive shells. Yeah, ammunition I still need a high because I'm going to need to rely on ammunition a lot. All right. All right, I have to build 21 subs. Build me 10. Build me another 10. And build me another 1. And that should be good. So we'll get 4 done here. Spokane's commission, Flint's commission. New fighter prototypes are ready. Alright, so, bomb load's better, max speed's better. Um, yeah, okay. Our fighters are an improvement on the 1929 uh, Martin Electra B. Okay, that's actually only a B. I thought it was an E. Um, okay. Let's actually see what we're looking at here. So, max speed is not a big difference. Firepower's all the same. Um, toughness is similar. Maneuverability favors the Brewster and the Curtis. Range. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are these literally the same plane except that the Curtis is slightly better toughness? I, I think so. Let's take the Curtis. There are more ships in the South American East Coast than our bases can support. Yeah, I'm aware. Um. Uh. No thanks, I don't need 7-inch guns. What are 7-inch guns good for? Alright, so right now I'm still losing a lot of money. Um. Yeah, I'll sell it. I need more money right now. Might as well let the small powers catch up. Alright, come on. Put down that damn rebellion. No thanks on 14-inch guns like I'll ever use them. Thank you! Thank you. Good job, everyone. Thank you for crushing that rebellion. Alright, so everything which is currently on the South American East Coast needs to move back into the Caribbean. Which is you guys, you guys, and you guys. Move ship into the Caribbean. Save, and then go to next turn. Yay, praise for building the subs. Montana's commission, Arizona's commission. Um, this is one of those opportunities where I can take either thing, but let's get budget. Improved model, awesome. That was the new flying boat, and they've improved its speed and range. Good job, Boeing. Good job. That's a lot, be lot better than we can say about them today. Um, alright, let's get a new Minnesota down. Um, alright, so we build a ship. Um, let's go shoulder designs. If we go to, say, a battleship like the Illinois here, uh, New Mexico, let's just go through a bunch of names. Hit a bunch of times. Yeah, we'll name it California. Uh, you know what? No. Vermont. Do we? I don't think we've had a. Have we had a Vermont yet? I don't know. Let's name our second Minnesota Vermont then. Um. This is the Minnesota there. All right. So we have had right now. That's nineteen. So this will be twenty. Uh. Twenty-two. Twenty-two will be in service with this. We actually have a little bit of money left over. Um, let's uh, let's modify our destroyer class to have better quality four-inch guns. Actually, the Calhouns are really fast, so we can get them up to we can get these guys up to thirty-five knots without any actual issue. Or we could leave them at thirty-four and do torpedo reloads. Why not? Um, oh, wait, we need dual-purpose guns, yeah. Do the Cahoons not have dual-purpose guns? Hmm, maybe not. Uh, 
Let's get a couple of K-Guns and just reduce that. This is a really, really good destroyer, is what I will say. Dual purpose main guns, improved director, all the AA positions used in good ASW, plus, you know, 12 torpedo tubes with reloads. Do it. Get, get the steric class built. Um, so it looks like some of our minesweepers are getting old at this point, so they probably need a rebuild. Hello, Kingfishers. Time to go into a rebuild. How much will you be rebuilt? Get K-Guns. These are only six. Save. Wait, yeah. No, is it not? Rebuild ship? Open design for rebuild? What? Game? Are you okay? Or am I just not allowed to put K-guns on these? Oh. Insufficient. Damn it. That was what happened. So we'll switch those out for medium. Because we upgraded... Yeah, we upgraded uh, to K-guns. So now that those will be refit, though, they sh should actually be a, a bit better at sub-hunting. Um, the Sedas need a refit. The other one... I would say the 1927 one should probably receive a refit, too. Uh, Dual-purpose main guns. We're not going to swap them out. We're going to leave them, though. Um, you get two K-guns... And get another medium anti-aircraft gun, I suppose. And we're not going to bother giving these guys fire control. Uh, Destroyer-wise, our older models are having issues, so we'll need a refit before the next war. These guys, the Argonauts, they will also need a dual purpose. And, uh, yeah. Dual purpose refit. Honestly, the other thought is maybe... You know what? No, we'll just do this. Was the also thought of, other thought of moving entirely to... um. What is it? Medium anti-aircraft guns. But I'm not. I'm not going to bother with that. 2% weight miss saving on machinery. Um, we have to send a diplomatic note. Those are going to be faster than our fastest torpedo bomber. And build me four sterrets for the moment. Yeah. Having four sterrets, or having uh, these destroyers will be good. With the um, many torpedoes they carry along with the eight four-inch quality one dual-purpose guns. There is honestly some thought about maybe sending in the um, Calhouns for a uh, quality refit. Honestly, can I also get... Ooh, so close. Can't quite get in on the Calhouns. Um, hmm. Also get K guns on the Calhouns and just reduce the number of light anti aircraft guns. So we'll send the Calhouns in for them to get a better better set of guns. It does cost a little bit to rebuild them, but not too much. Because, you know, cones with better guns are going to be better, naturally. 32 Corvettes have finished their reconstruction. All right! Okay, okay. What options do I have? So, what do you recommend? Um, we call an international disarmament conference. If you want peace, arm for war, we should spend more on the Navy. And we could safeguard our interests. Let's, let's do this. I can pick any of these options. Um,
Better 14 inch guns, who cares? Hey look, I got money back because... Well, A, we made more money. Uh, B, you guys should actually be in the reserve fleet, but nah, no, that's not a reason why I'm making more money. Um, no, because all these guys got out of refit as well. That only saved us about 300. Uh, actually, no, it saved us more than 300, because that changed majorly. Um, so what else did I want? Um, right, we did move these guys back, and they should be in the reserve fleet too. And now we do have the flint class light cruisers. What's the world looking like right now? How are Britain as two light cruisers building? There are more of those. They are probably very similar to the Cordelia class. Um, so that is concerning. They're getting more modern light cruisers. Germany is building a modern light cruiser. France is somewhat modern light cruiser as a somewhat modern light cruiser class in the Forbin now. Um, however, the Forbin is worse than my Galveston class. So that would give me six light cruisers, which are better than the best French light cruiser. Um, Russia. Shit. Japan. Uh, again, center line, but still shit. And Italy. Why, why even bother? Why is it from 1923? Italy, what are you... Oh, you've been building armored cruisers. With nine ten-inch guns. That's cute. Um... Yeah, uh, other than that, what about, Britain has two proper CVs under construction. That's concerning. Germany, do you have any CVs? You do have, uh, two building. That's concerning. France, you have any, no? Russia, you have one building. Japan, and Italy, no. Um, so, people are building CVs. That is concerning. Um, now, good news is, the, uh, Saratoga and Hornet are almost done. I think it's gonna be the smart move to continue to build CVs. Um, it's a Galhoun class of refit, that should give me more money. That being said, I do probably want to build more CLs, too. Because we got the flints. Um, and we can probably modify the flints to be a little better. Um... So yeah, no magazine box protection. Uh, you can get better 4-inch guns. I can do torpedo reloads for the flints. Um, or for a modification of the flints. Which will be called the Clevelands. And will look kind of remarkably like a Cleveland. Um, Alright, so the other thing we could do is... What, what if we bring the deck up to 2 inches? We can do that. Okay. Cleveland's are like a flint, but better in every single way. New docks completed. Good. I don't... I'm probably not going to get any new docks. Curtis Commando, ready for service. Cool. Um, I want to build one Cleveland for now. Now the Calhouns are done refitting. Motorboat torpedoes squadrons are done. Uh, so, Calhoun's, just go into the reserve fleet, because we are going to get more destroyers here. Uh, build me another Cleveland. Cleveland and Montpelier. Um, we're three months away from a new carrier design. So there's one thought of just building the carrier a bit larger. There's also the thought of going with unarmored carriers. Uh, I'm going to stick with the armored carrier approach. Um, I think it's just better. So let's try to increase the flight deck armor. See if we can get to 4.5. No, can't do it. Okay, so we can say at 4 for the flight deck armor now. We can do deck edge lifts. Which I'd probably... I'm not going to modify this for. Um, get another light anti-aircraft gun. I suppose, uh, and get better 4-inch guns. Can I increase, like, the deck at all? No. No, I can't. Yeah. 
dirt top and dirts will stay the same. Yeah, okay. It'd be nice to get a faster carrier, but no, I want to keep the, uh... I want to just keep it kind of like only with the 10% change thing. Yeah, okay, so let's go with this. That's actually only going to take one month. Um. Hmm. Yeah, sure, buy it. And since I'm still pretty low. Um, we need to send a diplomatic note in the strongest language possible. Uh, we will order Ranger right now, then. Screw it. Ranger's sister. Whatever it may be. Will be ordered now. And that will be Enterprise, because we have not built an Enterprise yet. Hornet's commissioned. Saratoga's commissioned. Good. So that gives us a 6 CV fleet. So we got Langley, Yorktown, Lexington, Wasp, Saratoga, and Hornet. Um, Ranger and Enterprise will be the next two built. That will bring us to an 8 CV fleet. And I blue, do believe that these are all just like slight modifications of each other's design, although the Lexington and Saratogas and stuff are way bigger. Um, how many CVs are still being built in other nations? Uh, Britain has completed their CVs. How many aircraft do they hold? 57. 57. So they have more... Their CVs have more aircraft than our CVs. And according to my rules, I cannot actually build any CVs to beat that. So, yeah, I've... I mean, I've got to hope that the armored CVs are going to work. Um, and that spamming out armored CVs is going to work. Um, so I'll probably fully... Or, mm, here's what. I'm probably going to invest the funding currently being spent on Connecticut into more uh, CVs. In the meantime, though, I'm going to build another Cleveland. Just to try to keep my uh, destroyer count... Or not my destroyer, my cruiser count good. Uh, CL count. Germany has one building. Um, Great Britain has eight. What everyone's probably trying to do is they're probably trying to catch up with my number of heavy cruisers. The whole problem is my heavy cruisers are battleships. No, no, no. No, no, no. I can't use that term. The term battleship doesn't exist in it. Hey, we got our submarines done. Hooray. Um, that'll get me a bunch of money, actually. Um, Britain doesn't have advanced director? Okay, okay, okay. So, a couple of choices. We could try to hold back Britain technologically, or if we think they're about to invent advanced director, we can sell it to them. I'm going to hold them back. I'm going to hold them back. I think that's the right decision. No, I do not want air units created automatically. Submarines are now commissioned. Cool. Got a lot of coastal subs. Let's build, uh... Let's build two mediums and two mine-laying subs. Just kind of keep our sub count going up. Um, so these old subs are really not going to be worth much right now in the next war. You know, 1920... I think the 1928 ones are fine to keep around, but the 1920 ones probably just aren't worth it anymore. You know, 79 isn't that much, isn't going to be that much more terrible than like 94. We still have some airship bases in a couple of locations, and I think I'll leave airship bases there. Now, it is especially good having the Falklands because that means that we get control over a lot of the America stuff. Um, if we wind up in a war... No, actually, Britain might now be a target, because maybe... Maybe this is now takeable. But, you know... Might be nice to get the Leotung Peninsula and Northern Korea. Or North Korea as well. You know, see if we can get Kamchatka and Sakhalin in peace, or Hokkaido. Depending on who we go to war with. If it is, uh, really Russia or Japan... Of course, if it d winds up not being Russia or Japan, I don't exactly have a lot of control over that. Um, Alright, all you guys should probably be moved to the reserve fleet. 
Actually, how is our... We have 19. So 19 divided by 2... Um, 18 divided by 2 is 9. So 9 of these should be mothballed. Right now, 8... Right now, 9 of them are mothballed. Okay, good. Um, uh, I'm going to move the second Colorado to the reserve fleet. And that gives us uh, Arizona and Montana in the active fleet. How many have we lost? Michigan, North Dakota, Colorado, Oklahoma, and Alabama. Poor Alabama. Poor Alabama. Uh, Oklahoma was torpedoed, but yeah. Poor Alabama. The other three all got mined. Um, you know, Alabama's loss was not great. So yeah, the Kentuckys are still the oldest in service. I, I think that is fine. Uh, now that being said, 1928 or 1927, 1928 refit is starting to get a little old. Um, these guys do need refits here, but mm, I want another Cleveland. I, I want more of these modern light cruisers. So getting eight Cl or getting four Clevelands. Um, plus the four Galvestons and the two Flints would give me ten modern light cruisers, and then, in addition to that, I have, uh, eight foreign station light cruisers. And then, that would be eighteen, uh, older light cruisers. Rallies are actually probably the best of the bun of the older ones right now. Other than the Moines, they're pretty fast, so they might be more worth it. But I did have to remove a turret to get the catapult in. But you know, we have an aircraft catapult. All our light cruisers, right? All of our main fleet light cruisers now have at least an aircraft aboard them, and so do all of these guys. Yeah, all these guys need a refit here soon. Wadsworth. Let's do it. Let's do it for the uh, bigger ones. So we could get an improved director. I don't know if we need to. Um, now, the big thing is we need K-guns on them. So I'm going to get rid of the wing turrets here. You might get dual purpose guns. You might get an improved director. Um... Maybe I'll give it an additional torpedo tube like that. These are going to be coastal patrol vessels now. So maybe no Q mount. Maybe an R mount instead. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. So the Wadsworths and the uh, Alawins will go in for a rebuild right now. We'll do that. We will upgrade your director. Um, we need to give you K-guns. But, you know... You might be able to also get a triple torpedo tube. Or maybe just a double. So you can actually get some anti-aircraft guns. Although, do we really need anti-aircraft guns where they're going to be patrolling? Probably, probably. Probably good to still have them. Ward them off. You know what? No. No, because I know what I'm going to do. Get rid of that. Get, get rid of that. Go to dual purpose guns. Get an improved director. We need the K-guns involved. But... What if we just had an extra gun? And did this instead. Instead. 
So now we have the same broadside mass. And then I will leave it with two medium anti-aircraft guns. So it'll still be a sub-hunter. But that should make it a... Uh, hopefully a little better. Added. Oh, that was actually kind of expensive. Oh, well. It's not actually that that costly to do so. Alright, let's uh, continue to the next turn. Alright, so this is the one where I have to bullshit it. Um, this, yeah, I have to cheat it here. Because of how all my settings work. So, we have to build them, but we have to scrap them before they're complete. Now, we show older designs. Um, scamming the president is the design I need to build three of. Hello there, Scamming the President class, uh, battleships. We'll build three of you, and then you'll get cancelled. Or actually, you'll get halted, and then you'll get cancelled. Um, so I'm gonna halt these guys for three months. Three months. Remind, remember, three months. Alright, so, that one's working up, um... Yeah, okay. One. Hornet is finished working up. Um, triple turrets on CL. They're that far behind, but I'll take it. Turn two. Improved carrier design increases maximum carrier size. Turn three. Loan destroyers have finished their reconstruction. That's good. Hold on, hold on. I did not take a good look at that. What was that? I, I, I can't... That might have been a Cleveland-type design. Alright, so now we have to actually build the scamming the president. Oh, oh wow, I almost hit the X button there, because something went wrong with my mouse. And my mouse just spontaneously teleported to the top end of my screen. Which is, uh, annoying. Now, on the other hand, we should probably refit the Cummings class destroyers as well. The remaining, uh, destroyers of this, uh, type. So, 4K guns. Let's just get rid of these guys and do that. You are allowed to go up to better 4-inch guns. Screw it. Um, we'll give you dual purpose. And then we will add one on the R section of the ship. Um, can't get the triple torpedo, so we'll just give you a double. And then we will actually fill out your anti-aircraft complement. All right, we need to upgrade your fire control. So we will not give you a full anti-aircraft complement. We'll give you that. All right, so the Cummings are going to be rebuilt, and then we will follow that up with the amends. So you will get an improved director. Your forage guns will become dual purpose. We'll leave them at quality zero, though. And you are going to need two K-guns. So we will get rid of... We'll get rid of your V. And I think that's actually all I can get rid of, really. I can't add in another one. So we'll just give you another light anti-aircraft gun then. No. What I will do is you will actually get better 4-inch guns. Wait, no, dual purpose guns. Yeah, overwrite the design. Yeah, rebuild them. And for the moment, that's all my budget can afford, but screw it, we're going to get the Drayton's rebuilt as well. So, that's the requ that's the first requirement right there. Uh, you need to go up to an improved director. You need both those. And now we have an issue. 
So, you're going to become Corvettes. Drayton Glass, I'm sorry about this. You are becoming Corvettes now. That's probably going to happen to my older destroyers at this point. But you are going to get your 4-inch guns upgraded. Um, and we are going to give you an additional anti-aircraft gun. Reclassify the ship. Oh, we can't go that fast. Oops. Alright, so we have to keep the torpedo here. Um, that's annoying. Um, improved director. So maybe get rid of the aft turret. So we can get the 2K guns on. Alright, that's all we can rebuild. Um. Yeah, sure. Take it. Hey, dive bombers. Private venture. It's... Mm, hmm. It's got a better bomb load. It's got a better top speed. Doesn't have the same range. But everything else is better. Alright, we need a new aircraft type. Um, okay. So, our oldest now is a torpedo bomber. So, torpedo bomber. Let's do... Let's do maneuverability and reliability. Alright, so... We do have more money now, so that will involve sending the uh, Warringtons in. Get your improved director, get a dual purpose gun. Oh, your guns are only 3 inches. Upgrade to better 3 inch guns, I suppose. Um, get your 2K guns, and get rid of your V torpedo tube. Get rid of your aft 3 inch gun. Add in another light anti-aircraft gun. Yeah, okay. Warringtons, you will go in for your rebuild now. Paulings will now go into their rebuild. It looks like Germany is the most pissed off with us at the moment. I seriously don't know what a war with Germany for us entails. Um... You know what? Honestly, increase your K-guns up. So you can't even do dual purpose. Wow. Did I go down to a 2-inch gun? Did I go down to a 2-inch gun? No. Local only. Go back up to the 3-inch gun, then. And give me just a little bit of anti-aircraft armament. Uh, maybe... Yeah, you're gonna be stuck on local only, Paulding class. I really, really hope that, like the berries and stuff are not selected to get radar sets, because that would be really bad. Local only. Dual purpose. Um, improve the quality of your guns. Um, get your 2K guns. Get rid of your aft gun. And then get a little bit more anti-aircraft. These are basically now just... Oh, wait, can I get dual purpose on it? Yeah, I can. These are now basically just uh, little sub-hunting destroyers. Hey, we actually have spare money left over somehow. Nope. I don't know what, where we got that money from. Now we get 5-inch dual purpose mounts. How nice. Alright. Tensions with Britain are ticking down. Let's get all these destroyers rebuilt. Um... Honestly, there is some thought about sending the Idaho's in right now for a rebuild. Um, we can go up to 5-inch tertiary guns.
Yeah, I think it is probably time to send the Eidos in. Um, yeah, five-inch dual-purpose tertiary or tertiary guns, and a lot of them. That's gonna be good against enemy aircraft. And then we can do a couple more anti-aircraft guns. Um, air capacity on these things is somehow four. And yeah. Send them in. Send the Eidos in for that rebuild. Because they're the oldest CA right now and they need one. Badly. And then I'll... Some of our destroyers will finish here. Hey, we're receiving the praise for building the battleships. Alright, can I scrap them immediately? No. Alright, halt them then. I do not want any of them completed. They must be scrapped. And that is the best way to agree by or to uh, follow that rule, which I came up with. All right, so the Draytons are done. Uh, we're gonna get the rest of them here very shortly. And yeah, the the Idaho's will be rebuilt here. Uh, Connecticut will be done soon. Two destroyers are commissioned. Thirteen destroyers finish their reconstruction. All right, let's see. What are the options? Uh, okay. So we can take more tension. We can take a budget and tension hit. Or we cannot do that because that is against the rules I have set. Um, I'm going to take the tension and budget hit. Uh, centerline torpedo tubes allowed on ships up to 3,500 tons. That's good. That's really good. Um, we actually completed so much that turn that we actually, our, our money situation got better. Um, oh yeah, 900 ton destroyers are shit. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, 900 ton destroyers are in the, uh, just DD pool right now. Let's see, uh, so in, how, how much is, can we get? Okay, we cannot get uh, 2,500 ton destroyers yet. We can only get the uh, smaller ones. Um, I do have a bit of extra money right now. So, maybe smart to build another carrier. Maybe another, maybe another ranger. Third ranger might be good. They do want to spend a bit of this money. And I think getting carriers right now is what's important. I mean... Do note, though, that Connecticut's going to finish in four turns, so it might be time. I'm going to wait one turn. I'm going to actually increase my dock size again. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not really going to be able to make use of that increased dock size. I should have timed that a little better. Um, I'm going to wait three turns and then build a new carrier design so turn one 18 destroyers have finished their reconstruction I think that is allowed hey larger destroyers now let's build larger destroyers too Damn it, Parliament! Well, not Parliament. Damn it, uh, Congress! Damn it! Okay, so we cannot scrap those ships. Um, that's a shame. They will not ever see service. They will instead be scrapped at some point in time, and I will make sure of it because I do not want to use battleships. I do not know what battleships are. I only know how to put more 10-inch guns on vessels. All right, so you can go. To tr you can go. That much larger. Um, all right, so it's just a new name, the Dorsey class. Okay, cool. Um, get rid of maybe the X superimposed. Okay. Okay then. Um, that's fine. Uh, maybe two fire control positions for ships this big. And. Give me more anti-aircraft guns, and yeah, we're good. 
We are good. This will be a uh, new class destroyer, which really isn't that much changed over our previous one. Um, I am, however, going to modify the apt superstructure here to make it look a little better. Because we no longer have an apt super firing gun. So we'll just do that. If only it was actually properly aligned. That would have been nice game. Alright, we'll do seriously, seriously game. Seriously, you're gonna you're gonna keep pulling this shit. Alright. We'll do this then. That's better. And then structure five will just maybe be a little more complex to show that this is a uh newer destroyer model. We can do something like that in the rear. Okay, cool. The Dorsey class destroyer. And that'll take a month. Massachusetts says finisher reconstruction. Idaho is finisher reconstruction. You just sure as a finisher reconstruction. Um... Try to get the proposal watered down again. Seriously. Stop cutting my funding. Alright, we need four Dorsey class destroyers. And we are now, once again, losing a shit ton of money. Oh, hey, look. Radar sets are being applied to our uh, RCAs and some of our modern CLs right now. It's weird. Galveston got one first. Well, not first, but pretty early. Galveston's got one earlier than the Flint somehow. Um, hmm. What's really good, though, is that these refit destroyers are not getting them. These these crappy ones. The 500 tonners. I want... If, if any destroyers are to get them, it sh these 2,000 tonners should be prioritized. Like, the Mugfords aren't going to be particularly great, either. Um, Alright, can I scrap the scamming the presidents yet? Yes. Yes, I can. Where did I lose prestige from? Where did I lose prestige? When did that happen? Which event did I select which cost me prestige? That's odd. Alright. So, I was right to not lay down a ranger when I had a shit ton of uh, extra money because everything kind of went wrong. Alright, so let's increase the mass a bit more. So that's a new name. Um, yeah, sure, the SX class. Fine. Um... Hanger, flight deck armor, yeah, go up again. Just constantly keep raising that flight deck armor. Honestly, though, we can go with 5-inch guns. Um, we'll go with 5-inch guns, but we'll get rid of a couple of them. Or bring the flight deck armor back down to 4. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Dual-purpose 5-inch guns, though. Uh, everything else, I think, is set. I thought we could bring the deck down to 2 inches. Nope. 2.5. Yeah, okay. No. Keep it at 3. Keep it at 3. Other than that, I think we're good. I also suggest... I kind of like the Intrepid class, actually. Yeah, there we go. Intrepid. Intrepid Classic Carrier. Which is just, let's take the Ranger and make it bigger. Um, so now, the CA Connecticut will be finished. Um, no thanks. I do not want those. Improved dive bomber performance. Good. Hey, new torpedo bomber prototypes are ready for evaluation. Let's get a new dive bomber then. Um, Alright, so bomb load on the torpedo bombers really doesn't matter that much. Um, it's the same as Vulcan Vaulty. That didn't change. Uh, speed looks like it's increased. Maneuverability looks like it's increased a little bit. Um, okay, so. I think maneuverability improves hit chance. So with that in mind, um, the Lockheed would not be in, would not be an option. Lockheed is not an option in this. So we have Vought, Boeing, and Curtis. Um, now, the Curtis is tempting due to the, due to the high speed and range. 
However, the Vought is also pretty decent. But the Vought's a little slow. The Curtis is a little faster, but doesn't have the range. I'm thinking the Boeing. I'm thinking the Boeing. We're going with Boeing on this one. Alright, now we have more money. Um, oh, Intrepid's taking an additional month. Oops. Oopsie, that was not what I wanted. Um, and we're going to need to design a new class in CA. Well, probably one month down the road. Um, Alright, so we're keeping medium spying on Russia and stuff. Alright, so, what events? Gunboat, cruiser, and a battleship is double prestige. Oh dear god! <laughs> we don't actually have a battleship to send. <laughs> Alright, um... We don't know the term battleship, but we're sending one anyways! Oh shit! Oh shit, that went bad. That got the whole situation pretty bad. Alright. Maybe a little spying on each. I'm gonna go one more turn. Ah, uh, yeah, that's Italy. Buy it. Oh, our new dive bomber is a little underpowered. Let's, first of all, request a new dive bomber. And you will be bomb load and reliability. I know I have a bunch of extra funds left. Uh, so, we're going to open a new cruiser design. 70,000 tons. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, uh, with 70,000 tons, the additional thing we want is more armor. We want to get that deck up. So we'll increase the deck to that. And try to get the turrets up a little bit too. 16 inches maybe. Just can't do that. I've got to stay at 15.5 because we increased the deck. Maybe deck extended goes down just a little bit and the turrets go up. Yeah, okay. That's fine. And then we get more anti-aircraft guns be nice to get another 6 inch gun. We can get another 6 inch gun. <laughs> Alright, Dreadnought Battleship. New Mexico class. Uh, CA Heavy Cruiser. New Mexico. Yep. Alright, so we will save the New Mexico class design here. It will take 3 months, which means that we can start building one the moment Minnesota gets completed. However, since we are close to war, I'm going to call it off this time. Uh, thank you, anyone who came to watch. Uh, this has been Rule of the Waves 2 with me, Nona Moon 7 Spore. We got through a few years. Um, and yeah, the series is all, the previous episodes are now all up on YouTube. Anyone who is seeing this on YouTube knows that fact for certain. Um, anyone who is watching me on Twitch right now, which, um, if my view counter is anything, is, is a non existent person, uh, uh, they know. Um, but yeah, th this this is this episode, and it looks like next time we're going to be at war with Britain and Germany. On the other hand, though, I like Britain can really get us here. Or here. Um, so, I expect a lot of this fighting to take place on the West Coast regions. Although, I still need to have a decent East Coast fleet active to prevent them from trying to blockade me. Um, and I'm going to have to get aircraft ready, and I'm going to have to get my doctrine set. Uh, the good news is, uh, you know, we're going to get Minnesota completed soon. Um, it might not even be worth it to build a New Mexico right now. That might have been just wasted money right there if we're going to go to war this soon. But, yeah, we're going to get a Ranger completed, or Ranger and Enterprise completed, you know, hopefully a few months into the war. Hopefully sooner than that. And then, you know, we'll have a couple Intrepids and some Dorsey class destroyers come in. Our submarine fleet's pretty good at the moment. Um, although a lot of it is coastal subs, we do still have some normal subs. We're going to get a couple done here soon. And yeah, we're going to have to start activating stuff next episode. Basically, next episode is let's activate the damn fleet. Get everything ready. Get it all for ser or get it all ready for service and fight. We're going to have to fight a war. Um, good news is, though... We have six 
of the uh, 28 10-inch gun cruisers, and then, you know, seven of the 24. So, yeah. Just quick, just quick overview of everything of the whole situation. Our budget is really good right now. Um, CV's in service. We have a CV advantage over everyone. A massive CV advantage. Um, we have six in service. We have four more building. Uh, CVL advantage we have as well. And then, you know, we have 20 heavy cruisers. But of course, our heavy cruiser <laughs> tonnage is 924,000. Because of course it is. And with the new, or with the two building, it would be over, over a million in terms of heavy cruiser tonnage. Um, which is more tonnage than Britain. I think that's more capital ship tonnage than Britain has. Yeah. Our CAs are heavier than Britain's capital ships. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I think if you added Britain's battleships battle cruisers and heavy cruisers together our heavy cruiser force weighs more than that that that's fun that's a fun fact um yeah germany yeah probably the same for germany as well uh just quick glance at what they have the best german battleships are terrifying the best german battle or that's a ca uh good cas you know 12 10 inch guns all that's that's fine you know that's comparable to a kentucky um, you know, like I don't know, nine best battle cruisers aren't very much to look at. Britain's best battle cruisers are a lot to look at. Um, oh, okay, one of them's rebuilding in or in incomparables rebuilding, but yeah, uh, Britain has terrifying battle cruisers and pretty good battleships. Yeah, terrifying battleships, I would say. And we were hoping to go to war with like Russia or Japan, but it looks like that's not happening. So yeah, I will uh, see you next time. Uh, goodbye for now. And yeah, I guess uh, hopefully this episode will be up on, well, this episode will hopefully go up on YouTube very shortly after it was streamed rather than taking forever like the other ones did. Bye!